Thank you very much, uh, Professor Solnoki, for your introduction. Thank you, Vicky Loiseau, uh, Mr. Ndimku, distinguished guests. It's really an honor for me to open this conference with a short message in my capacity as a representative for the Greek German Assembly. The Greek German Assembly, which was established in 2010, is a network of municipalities and regions of our two countries. Specialists support and advise each other on various focal topics. In that context, tourism is one aspect of a special importance. Professor Solnoki has been a supporting cooperation in this field and our entire network for some time now. I want to, to use this opportunity to thank him very much. Of course, the significance of uh, tourism has various dim dimensions. For one thing, tourism contributes to national prosperity. As you know, the German Wein Institute on the Geisenheim University did a study in 2019 to look at the high level of uh, value addition through wine tourism, which was found to be 5.5 billion euros. This is an amazing amount. The pandemic has made us particularly aware of that. Of that. The decline of tourism and the related losses have been severe. At the same time, successful tourism strategies have helped Germany and Greece to remain attractive destinations. To some extent, companies have been able to, conti to continue their successes of 2019. In July and August alone, more than 2 million visitors came to Greece, more than to any other European country. In September, the number of tourists nearly reached the level of 2019. There is an entire industry, and uh, this included wineries, that has contributed significantly to this success. Committed work and a great flexibility have made this achievement possible. For another thing, tourism is about exchange and understanding between nations. This is a point that is especially important to me because strengthening the sense of belonging together within Europe is more important than bylands uh, sheets. People want to travel and they are even spending more money on their vacations. This has become clear from the first few evaluations. This means opportunities and tasks for the future. Of course, traveling must remain affordable in the coming years. Yet people's expectations with regard to quality are rising. The tourism sector needs to remain attractive in the future. After all, there are many challenges. Above all, the tourism industry must pay its part in transformation processes. Sustainability plays a particular big role. And wine tourism is an excellent approach in this regard. We are talking about small groups of visitors who are willing to travel to the more remote wine regions and consume regional products. This means that regions that are far from the coast are able to benefit from tourism. It takes pressure of popular package tour destinations, especially in the summer, and it leads to a longer tourism season. After all, a good glass of wine tastes great in any season. So this type of approach is useful in many ways and should absolutely be supported. Our two countries' governments will undoubtedly foster this transformation and adjust the general framework accordingly. I want to thank the organizers for our online meeting. 
I wish all participants informative discussions and every success. Thank you very much. And uh, I appreciate I have to leave the conference in a few minutes because I have another another meeting. So I wish you all the success what is possible. Thank you very much.